Hi everyone, this is Hibba from My Little Journal and today I'm really excited to be sharing with you the new kit and add-on stamp sets that are releasing at the Paper Person Shop and today is January 15th, 2022. Now, I do not have the cards to share with you um, but I do want to create something in my traveler's notebook and that's why I have that out and I'm going to be using some of the add-on stamp sets. But the cards um, I do not have. And if you want to see the cards, I definitely recommend to check out the link down in the description box. But the kit comes with these puffy stickers. They are so pretty. And I can't wait to use them on my spread today. You also get a 4 by 6 stamp set. And it has the favorite things about you. Love this face. Um, date night. This is true love. And this kit is called Be Mine. I love that stamp set. It's perfect for, you know, like documenting the people you love. Then you get these white alphas and the label sticker sheet, which I really, really like because I'm a big fan of the pink and that's like mint green. Anyways, that is the kit. Missing the cards. <laughs> Sorry about that. But you also can choose from some add-on stamp sets. And you guys know I love myself an alpha stamp. And this one is adorable. Excited about this. Totally using it today in my process video. You have the tea time. And it's all about documenting your tea and your love for tea. I love that tea for two. I like that tea bag. It's so cute. New blend, new flavor. You have a kettle with cups. Adorable. Then you have Coffee Talk. And I love the coffee machines. They are so cute with the coffee beans, coffee cups, the pods. Perfect. And last but not least, Winter Olympics. And this is all about documenting the Winter Olympics. Really cute. You have the Beijing 2022 adorable and the awards anyways there's so much to choose from i can't wait to use these on my spread today and that's literally what i'm going to be doing so what i'm going to be documenting is some coffee photo uh for sure i want to use that coffee stamp so i'm gonna keep these three out and probably use that on my spread today and i know i want to use this as well maybe the labels and the alpha stickers as well let's see if i end up using those but anyways let's get to it i'm gonna go through my traveler's notebook and see which pattern papers i want to use and then probably go ahead and print out my photos once i choose my pattern paper okay you guys let's start working in my traveler's notebook i'm gonna pull out my traveler's notebook try to find the right pattern and I actually found one that has three boxes and it says one two three and I felt like this is perfect I can kind of document this coffee shop that I have discovered about a year ago or two and I've been loving it it's so cute so I thought it was perfect to add multiple photos and as always when I find a pattern in my studio calico travelers notebooks that have boxes or labels I always trim them out. So that's literally what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna trim out the centers and I'm gonna back up my photos with it. So I sized my photos around three by four that is larger than the boxes. And I do that on purpose because I want space to add my tape, if that makes sense. I need these photos to hold behind my pattern paper. So I tend to size them a little bit larger. You will not see the extra photo in the background and you can kind of maneuver it if you wanted to. At this point, uh, everything looks good. I'm going to try out my photos behind my boxes or behind my paper and they fit nicely. It looks good. So I'm going to go ahead, add some tape to my pattern paper and then stick down my photos. This is just a simple and easy way to be creative and change up your layouts uh, instead of just sticking down photos directly on your pattern paper. I just like it. I think it's a lot of fun. So I always tend to do this. Mm -hmm. 
So now that I have everything stuck down, I can play with my new stamps. And I'm going to start with the new alpha stamp. I wanted to stamp the name of this coffee shop because it's adorable and it's called Cool Beans. So I felt like it was the perfect title for my spread. So I'm going to end up stamping cool. I decided to kind of move the beans a little bit, like my word beans, a little bit to the side so I have space to stamp the beans from the new coffee stamp set, if that makes sense. I really wanted to use the beans and make it a part of my title. So I stamped my title a little bit off so I can fill that right side with some of those beans. And you'll see what I'm talking about once I stamp them out. It just, uh, I don't know if I'm explaining it properly. But anyways, I stamp out the beans. I wanna use the filler stamp to add some color. So I'm gonna stamp them in brown. And I love how that looks. I'll also stamp one of the coffee machines right above my title. And I'm really loving how that looks. But because I don't know what I want to do yet to the left side after stamping all my title and my coffee machine, all that stuff, I decide to start working on the right side. So what I do is I first off stamp a little stamp next to one of my photos. And it says just one more and you can fill out cup, pot or shot. And then I'm gonna stamp a coffee cup on some white paper. I'll also stamp best part of waking up right above my first photo here. And I'll stamp another coffee machine on my white paper. I thought it would be fun to trim these out and use them as embellishment for my photos. and Just kind of add some texture to these photos. I was sticking down my little stamps here or my stamped images I was thinking how can I bring color to the left side I want to bring in some of that mint blue to the left so I end up using the heart puffy stickers I think they were perfect they matched really well so I end up adding a few of those hearts around my title and my coffee machine and then I'm gonna grab my Crayola I think they're called Crayola super tips and I'm gonna color in some of these little stamped images. I really wanted to bring in some color, so I decided to grab my markers and color them in, and I'm so happy I did because it turned out really, really good, and it brought in a lot of color to both sides of my spread. And by the way, I've mentioned these markers before on my channel. I bought the hundreds for 15 bucks, I believe. I think now they're a little bit more expensive, but not that expensive. And I just love those markers. Anyways, I decided I'm gonna add some journaling underneath my title. So I went ahead and stamped new blend, but I left space for my journaling. I'll also grab some of these dots from the label sticker sheet to add a little bit of something to my photos. And I also end up adding one of the labels that has the hearts underneath new blend. I didn't do it on camera, but you will see it at the end of the video when I share my photos with my journaling. But that's about it, you guys. I'm gonna call it done. Don't forget, today is release day at the Paper Person Shop. I'm gonna be adding all the links down in the description box for you. I hope you enjoyed watching this video, and if you did, please give me a thumbs up, and if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing, and I hope to see you guys very soon. Bye.